St. Pius X saw this over a hundred years ago and wrote about it in his Encyclical Vicendi, condemning it because, because of his, not only astuteness and his knowledge, but because of his holiness, St. Pius X saw in the principles of modernism everything we are now witnessing. He saw it all. And this is, this is the, the, the prophetic vision of a saint who sees these things, you know. And um, <clears throat> so for those, for those who are paying attention, and for those who understand anything about modernism, for those who have read into the wisdom of St. Pius X in the, in the, book, in, in the Encyclical Bacchendi, none of this is a surprise. This is exactly what you'd expect to happen if St. Pius X was right. And he was right. We see it now, how right he was. The evil of this modernism is anti-Catholicism, as an anti-Catholic faith, which has been used to bring about the modernist religion of the Novus Ordo, which is exactly what it is. Novus Ordo is the practice of modernism. And it's been born of modernism, and modernism is condemned by the Church as the antithesis of the Catholic faith. This is what you have now in the modern Church of Vatican II. One thing that we have to be very clear on, though, and this is, the, this is probably the saddest fact of all, that people believe this is the Catholic Church that has done this. This is not the Catholic Church that has done this. This is the modernist Church that has been born of Vatican II. This is not the Catholic Church. The Catholic Church is her primary victim, her principal victim of these modernists, who want people to think that this is the Catholic Church that, that, that has done all of these things. It's not at all. Any more than the Catholic Church brought you the new Mass. Any more than the Catholic Church changed all the sacraments. Any more than the Catholic Church brought you all the, the new catechism and all the rest, the new, the new theology, the new evangelism and all that. This is not the work of the Catholic Church. And you have these conservative Catholics who are insisting that this is the work of the Catholic Church, even though, even while they're trying, they say, to practice the traditional Catholic religion and faith in the Novus Ordo, they're, they're trying desperately to send a message, even the Society of St. Pius X itself, that this is the Catholic Church. It's one big lie. This is not the Catholic Church that has done these things. And people who are continually trying to make it, to make that case, to justify what they're doing, are painting themselves into a corner of their own making. And they're going to paint themselves into their corner to the point where they're either going to have to say, well, we're saying all the time that this is the Catholic Church, isn't it? We've been saying that. This is the Catholic Church. And this is the Catholic Church that has actually been doing all these things. And suddenly they're going to run out of room and say, well, how can we say that the Catholic Church established by Jesus Christ is the criminal perpetrator of all these satanically evil things? How can we say that? How, where do we go from here in saying that this is the Church of Christ? No. Right? They're going to run out of room there. And either they're going to have to say, well, the Church of Christ must have failed if this is the Church of Christ that's doing all these things. Francis, with his denial of the papacy, denial of the priesthood, and all the rest, that he's still speaking in the name of the Catholic Church, after all. And all of these priests and bishops who have done these things are all acting in the name of the Catholic Church. They're going to have to say that the church failed, that Christ's promise failed. Either that or they're going to have to give up that lie and say, well, we have to admit in the final analysis that this is not the Catholic Church that has done all these things. <clears throat> the abuse, the cover-up, and all the other things that came out of Vatican II, it's, these people are not the Catholic Church. Father, in, uh, in one of his books, Father Gary Lagrange, he said that uh, in spite of the darkness, there is light enough to see for those who are willing to see. Mm -hmm. And perhaps we can talk about this next, but even in, in Francis's response that uh, he wrote in regards to this grand jury report that came out, mm -hmm. you know, he says that all of this, this abuse had happened, you know, decades ago, 60, 70, 50, 60, 70 years ago. And you think about it, that's right around the time of Vatican II. Sure. And, uh, and These are the years of preparation for Vatican II, the years of Vatican II, right the years that came after mm -hmm. Vatican II. Mm -hmm. exactly. and, and, you know, and you look at this, this Novus Ordo Church, this new church, 
they titled it themselves the Nova Sordo, a new order. Uh, we got the new mass from it. We have new rosary from it. We have uh, new sacraments. We have the new stations of the cross. All of these new... We have the new morality. All of these yeah. these new things. Mm -hmm. And uh, like Father Father Gary Gallagher said, there's light enough to see for those who are willing to see. And uh, it, it, it seems crystal clear. The one Nova Sordo bishop...